Hello everyone, welcome back to Blue Ridge Silverhound. Uh, I have a really uh, pretty cool video here to show you. Uh, to kind of give you a little bit of a, um, a backstory about this roll of nickels. Uh, I went out to uh, get one of my dad's old pocket watches repaired, so I went to a, uh, a jeweler in town. And believe it or not, they had a little bit of coins. And um, one of them in which was uh, they, they had a number of... Uh, buffalo nickel rolls uh that they were selling for twelve dollars i picked one up uh even if they were common date 1930s you know with the occasional philly earlier dated coin uh, i figured you'd do okay you know it's like 30 cents a piece um typically if you went to a coin shop and you went through uh, their assortment of uh just good to vg nickels okay you would expect to pay about 25 cents to 50 cents a piece uh, but yeah, we're going to go through this roll here this morning. Uh, I'm not expecting a whole heck of a lot. This will be my first break into it, uh, here, but as you can see, we're starting out with a 1936. So just as I expected, we have a nice common date already where, you know, regardless if there's a mint mark on there or not. So let's go ahead and pull out. A few of these we're gonna go through the whole roll on camera here for you uh, and let's see there's the 36 Philadelphia okay the mint mark will be right here at the bottom by the way so if I sort through it and I just say the mint mark uh, it's right under five cents right there so yeah we're kicking it off with a common date there so we got 36 Here's a 1935, another common date Buffalo. This one is a D, Denver Mint. Here's another 36. Anyway, the coins look to be in relatively decent shape. Uh, this one is an S, so it's a San Francisco. And uh, this one has a full horn, which this one I would say is more of a fine grade. Here's another 36, Philadelphia, partial horn, so it's like VG to fine. Oh, here's a different date, 29. So far, full dates on every single coin, which is nice. Uh, this one's VG, you have about half a horn there. 37, another really common date with a couple uh, little rim dings right there uh, philadelphia vg to fine uh ooh, here 1928 a little bit earlier date philadelphia that one's good to vg like a low end vg that horn is pretty uh pretty flat there uh, here's a pretty good 36. Lots of detail. Philadelphia. This one is very fine. You have absolutely a full horn there. Ah, uh, yes. The final date. 1938. These coins I sell for about $2 a piece, with exception of that corrosion there. Uh, yeah, these are all Denver minted coins. Um, and there was also some notable repunched mint marks. So there could be a D over D or a D over S. I'll, uh, I'll get in close on the magnifier if that is the case. And I, I'll update you guys on that one there. All right. So let's go in here to the next little bit. Wish me luck. Hey, there you go. 24. That's a crazy early date. Not, not exactly what I expected. Now the coin appears to be either acid etched or cleaned. Um, it's got kind of that pebbly surface. Plus you could also see the wipe lines on there. Oh, are you kidding me? It's a 24S. <laughs> oh my gosh. What is this even doing in here? I sell coins like this for 5 to $10 all day long. 24s uh, that's a little bit tougher date i think there was like maybe three million pieces 
produced. Uh, I'm going to put that one aside. That's a good one. Okay. <laughs> uh, 37. And this one's a Philly. It's about fine there. Uh, oh, here's another good date. 27. So you've got 60% of the date left on there. Oh, are you kidding me? This one's an S also. That's a $5 coin right there. It's good. You know, it's nothing better than that. And this one, this one is very honest looking. Yeah, there, there's no signs of tampering nor environmental damage of any sort. I'm going to put that one aside. Okay. Well, there's another 38. And this one is in much better shape than that last one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this one's a VF. My guys in the coin club will love that one. I sell these all the time. Oh, here's a nice 35. Philly. Uh, okay, 1930. A little bit different date here. Philly. I'll check those out to see if there's any double dies on the obverse or the five hoof. Or the five leg. Uh, 1935. Ooh, this one's fine. Uh, that one is a Philly. Uh, oh, 25. So far exceeding my expectations. I thought these would be all 30s for the money. Oh my gosh, it's an S. A 25S. This is this is one of the tougher dates. I sold an AU coin of this nature for like three three fifty about five years ago. Are you kidding me? A 25S. The only one tougher would be a 26S. Yeah, you know, that's the key date. This is a coin that I could sell for around ten to fifteen dollars. Um <laughs> whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, there's another 38. 38D. Not too shabby. That, that one's VG. 37. Philadelphia. I, I would say my expectations are well above than advertised on this one. Oh. I might have to go back and buy the last uh, four or five rolls that he had. 37. Denver. VG. There's a 36. Denver. That one is also a VG to find. Here's another 30. Oh my god, I love breaking into these old rolls. No, oh, it's an S. It's like a good VG. You got a partial horn. Uh, the coin in, in itself is worth about 50 cents. Uh, here's a good looking 35. Check out the detail on this one. This one is, I would say, VF just by looking at the obverse. And yeah, VF, Philly. That's a nice album filler right there. There's another 30. Incredible. 30S. There you go. VG. Another 36. I'm going to have to go back now when I pick up my watch. Uh, I actually, I'm not even going to wait. I, I'm going to go later on today and see if he has any more of those rolls. And ask him where he got them. Whether he, uh, say he bought a lot of them or 37. Philly. VG. A lot of VG coins in here. Not too bad. Uh, here's a nice 35. That's like a find of VF. A lot of hair detail. Uh, ooh, yeah, this is an S. Look at that. VF. Full horn. Oh, that's like a dollar coin right there. Very nice. Here's a 30. Oh, wow, look at this thing. 36. Oh, this one might even be XF. Although it's got kind of like a funny surface on it. This one might have been 
acid dipped at one point or something or another. 35S. I'll have to take a closer look at it. See if it's got that pebbly surface as if it was eaten away a little bit. Alright, last little bit. I, I think I've done extremely well with this one here. Uh, I, I'm pleased. I am pleased. Yeah, you never know where you're going to find any coin scores. Uh, a watch repair shop. Uh, far from the... <laughs> far from any place that I would find coins of this nature. Uh, here's a 36. By the way, that last coin there was about a VG. And this one's an S. VG. VG to find. It's a close call there. Uh, here's a 36. This one looks VF. Not too bad. Uh, S. Yeah, that's a VF all day long. Strong horn designation there on that. So we got 36. S. That one's fine. The horn is a little bit weak. It's a little soft. Okay, here we go. Here's another 25. Another 25. Will it be another D or S? Oh, it's a D. Look at that. Denver Mint. Uh, this one is good. It's a high good. If I were filling an album right now, and I don't have any extra Buffalo Nickel albums, I, I could pencil in a few of those relatively tough dates. I tell you what, here's a 27. S. Look at that, that's another S coin. Woo! Holy smokers. <laughs> that's four tough key dates, semi-keys. Okay, let's not get carried away. There's a difference between key dates and sem semi-keys. The difference is huge. Here's a 36 S. Look at that. A lot of branch mint stuff in here. This one is fine. Ooh, my earliest date yet, 1919. Relatively common date. I, of course, I picked up that uh, mint state 62, 1919. And, uh, oh, it's a Philly. It's a VG, though. It's got a partial horn on there. Oh, gosh, not bad. Not bad at all, guys. Okay, here's a 1930. My mouth is getting dry with anticipation. Now, it's 1930 right there, Philly. That's a good uh, 37. And thank you guys, by the way, for joining in this morning. Um, VF. That's a VF coin right there. Uh, if you like the, today's content, hit, make sure you hit that like button. Uh, help a brother out with his metrics. 36. Philly. That's a fine. This one's a 37. So it appears to be all the coins were obverse up in there. So it made it easy for me to sort through them this morning. Which is nice. I bet that's the way he uh, set them up when he rolled these things. 37S. That's a pretty decent way to end it there. Uh, VG. It's got a partial horn. Well, let me check a few of these 38 Ds. Uh, so to recap, the big, big, big hits. Um, 27. S. 25. S. 27. S. It's probably the worst of the bunch. And a 24, well, actually this one might be, because this one looks like it's acid damaged. 24 S. Uh, there's like $45, $50 in coins out of those last four, and that's not including the 38 Ds, which I sell for a dollar a piece. And there's a whole bunch of like find a VF coins that are easily worth between 50 cents and $2. Whew, okay, well... Stand by, let me check on the repunch mid marks.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're in luck. Uh, one of the 38 Ds happened to be a D over D uh, example. And uh, there's a 38. And let me flip this around here and let's see if I can get in close. There, you can see the... Um, you can see the, the extra D uh, to the west of the primary mint mark. Yeah, this is a super score right here, guys. Um, this 38 D, this is actually on the better condition coin out of the three that I was able to um, find out of this group. And this one is a solid VF. Okay, this is a coin that I've sold for around $10 in the past raw as is uh, it's truly a marvelous example uh, very 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 clean with lots of detail full horn uh, lots of eye appeal I mean it's got like the original surfaces on there so it's not not been cleaned or anything um, yeah needless to say we did good on this one um, yeah I'm gonna see if he has any more rolls um, and if that's the case, I'm going to break all the rolls on, on camera for you guys. Um, yeah, I, I probably made out um, about 70 80 bucks on this lot uh, in comparison to the $12 that I bought it for. So, yeah, the, this is, a, he, I guess he really does know his coins and his dates and all that. But um, that's neither here nor there. I'm going to go ahead and pick up the rest. Again, if you guys like the video, go ahead and hit the like button down below. Appreciate you joining in for, uh, you know, 15, 20 minutes this morning. Sorry it took so long, but I, I love slow rolling through these type of videos. And as always, uh, if you haven't done so already, subscribe Blue Ridge Silverhound. You're going to see the, uh, the, um, the button at the end of the video. You probably see it right now. But anyways, thanks for joining. I'll see you on the next one. Take care.